Hi, I'm going to quickly show you how to sign into Google Chrome and then how to also switch between multiple accounts. So you can see that when we come into Chrome, uh, none of my bookmarks, I've just got a clear profile here. You can see that the little person icon up here on the top right hand corner of my screen is currently showing that we're not logged in as any user. Now to add a user to Chrome, this allows you to sync your bookmarks, sync any extensions that you have. Uh, it also syncs passwords and your history between your devices. And so there's a lot of benefits in actually signing into Chrome because it means you get a consistent user experience across multiple uh, computers. And so if you add something at home to your bookmarks, then when you go into work or vice versa, it will be there. So the first thing that we're going to do is add a user to Chrome. Now the quickest way or the easiest way to sign into Chrome is actually to click on the little person icon up here on the top bar and you'll see that um, our option tells us that we can or our menu tells us that we can sign into Chrome. When you click on sign into Chrome it'll ask you for your Google account details. Now this can be a Google account, a Google Apps for Education account or it can be a Google for Work account so it can be any type of um, account and I'll use the right password and so when you then sign in uh, if you're using the verification code we'll ask you for that so I'll have to go and get my phone to get my two-factor authentication code and find out my magic code for this so once I enter in my verification code I can then sign into Chrome and that will sync down all of my bookmarks. You'll see that I get the option of linking the data, which means that if I had any bookmarks here or I had any passwords already saved in my account, then they would be linked. Uh, alternately, you can cancel that and uh, you wouldn't be able to then associate that data. So I'm just going to choose to link and you'll see that it straight away pulls in our domain settings. So these WCCS bookmarks are part of our domain settings and as the sync progresses my bookmarks will come in and also any extensions that we've added to Chrome will also load in. Uh, so we'll wait a few seconds and actually let some of those come in. You can see the Google Classroom extension which is one that I use on our domain has already loaded in and it's telling me my name as well. Uh, now I'm actually up here again, there comes my bookmarks and you can see they're all across my bookmark bar here and my extensions are starting to load in as well. Now I actually have a personal Google account. Uh, it, it could be your Gmail account or it could be your own uh, Google hosted domain. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sign in using that account as well, which means that I'm going to have my Google for Education, Google Apps for Education account signed in. And I'm also going to have a user, which is my own personal Google account. So I simply click on the icon at the top here. You can see there's an option here to switch person. And so when I choose to switch person, it'll tell me that Tony is currently the only person, but I get an option to add another person. And so I'm now going to add my second Google account, which is my own personal Google account. And we'll wait for it to load in and get itself all ready down on my taskbar which you can't actually see it actually now has two icons for Google okay and so now I've got this uh, all loaded in I can now sign in to this account as well so I'm just going to click on sign in just to speed the process up a bit and hopefully it will load in a reasonable amount of time and I'll enter in the details of my second Google account which also has an authentication code. I use two-factor authentication across my domain. So I'm going to just find out my authentication code. The two-factor authentication code, which is coming up on your screen just as an aside, is actually a, a second form of authentication and that changes every 60 seconds, I think it is. Uh, so even though you saw those numbers just then, in 60 seconds it will be a different authentication code. You can see I've now been signed in as my home account as well as my work account. Now in order to 
switch between the users. You can click on the little person bar and then go switch person. Now there's a much quicker way if you just simply right click on there you'll see that my other Google account will appear and I can simply click on that and it takes me straight away to my work Google account. And so I can very easily switch from my work Google account and back to my home Google account and so on as many times as I would like throughout the day. So if I want to check my personal email then I can switch to my home account. You'll see that my extensions have now loaded in for my work account so I'm using a couple of extra ones here for ad blocking and for dictionaries and uh, for Google Classroom. I use Grammarly. This is a very handy one for those who tell people or teach people how to do things. Screencastify which is a screen video recorder and if you're showing work to students, Read Comfortably is a very nice extension as well, which takes out a lot of advertising and things around your page. Uh, so now we've signed in with our two Google accounts. We can simply right click on the uh, menu bar across the top here, choose the account that we're wanting to use at any time, and it will switch automatically between those two accounts. And so I can then have one set of bookmarks, which I use for my home Gmail account, and I can have a second set of bookmarks and extensions which I use for my work account.